Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers for Capricorn. And if you're brand new to the channel, I'm happy you joined us. Um, don't hesitate to come into the comments, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, what I do is at the end of the day, I go um, through the comments, I upload them to the feed, and then I give you a proper hello. And I love going through the comments, so don't be shy. Do remember, it is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. That happens. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer um, private readings. There's always a link in the description box below all the videos, um, and it will take you to the booking page. You just have to scroll a little bit to get to it, okay? I am pulling from Whispers of Love. Ooh, something nice and gentle after the month we've had. Mercury is direct again, thank goodness. Oh, this is very beautiful for you, Capricorn. Card 24, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. We have this beautiful creature giving romantic eyes to the dragon. Mm-hmm. Look for the good in everyone. Focus on love. That's in the lovely message. <clears throat> I love how she's sort of like a wood nymph. Perfect for Capricorn um, energy. This is Leo, channel mascot. <clears throat> he just woke up from a nap, so he's a little cranky. <laughs> usually sits with his back to me after nap time like I'm not ready to talk <laughs> I'm in the room but I'm not ready not ready for human contact anyway what I'm gonna do is pull the spread I'll give you my general impressions and then I'll go through with the clarifiers okay here we go Lovely. Opening up with an energy of some kind of a message that's sincere from the heart. What's crossing us? So is your heart open to receive it? Um, in your unconscious awareness, King of Swords. So it may be that you've been dealing with somebody who's not been very warm or fuzzy, uh, not a great communicator, or somebody who's just a little less emotional um, or less emotionally expressive in the past all your curiosity there with the page of swords in your conscious awareness hanged man perhaps things have grown a bit stagnant or things have um, not been moving forward and there they begin to move forward there may be an offer in the near future um, from the heart what it is you've been um, wondering about, struggling with, waiting for. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups crossing. Waiting for, yes. Anticipating. Three of Wands, and that would help you. Six of Swords. Move to calmer waters. Open up your heart a little bit. Oh, yes, indeed. It has been a bit of a struggle, I'm sure. Um, because you you know it, it's hard when you kind of meet up with someone who's not as expressive um, it's sort of hard to uh, continue to be vulnerable with someone who does not display their own vulnerability so I do feel it's something you've been wanting waiting for anticipating to sort of set you free a little bit to allow you to get a little bit of like a a little decompression there. That's how that Six of Swords is coming through to me, at least, is what it would um, bring about to you is some calmer, a sense of calm. King of Swords. Right. It has brought about a lot of conflict for you, some tension. Oh, wow. Sense of loss and sadness here. Because this is a really important connection to you. Uh, something that you have felt has been very special out of the ordinary, um, maybe even sacred on some levels. Uh, 
in the past page of swords maybe curiosity um and potentially some unanswered questions we have queen of swords king of swords I've got past life soulmate energy, twin flame energy peeking in here into this um, spread. And it's almost like in the past, maybe your curiosity, you were wondering, you know, is that what this connection is about? But not really breaking through, not getting anything from this person to work with, or not having the feelings you may have expressed being returned. Um, And so that's been the challenge. And it's brought a lot of tension. Um, I'm not sure I'm seeing any major fallout, just sort of how it, 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 it keeps you um, holding in a lot. You have a lot of love for this person, but have to kind of sort of wait for them to reveal themselves to show themselves honestly from the heart and everything's kind of been on hold Hang, hanged man <laughs> there's the page of swords again the fool judgment let me go ahead and pull for the knight of cups in the near future three of pentacles king of pentacles yeah this is really nice capricorn because what i'm seeing here is i'm sensing that tension in your unconscious awareness it's like um there's no real impending sense of doom there's just something here that has you in this sort of you know suspended state of you know suspended animation right like you're in the freaking matrix <laughs> you don't know what's happening and there's our page of swords again and and sometimes the page of swords is pages are messengers and so you know a little bit of clarity would help but also that page goes looking for information so spire detective of the tarot seeking out information looking for a little bit of clarity before delivering any kind of message so in this case any little word any kind of clarity would help get you down out of out of the matrix and and help you break free um give you that sense of yes now i feel i can take this chance it's not a 100 percent you know calculated risk it's um i've got more information to go on now um and we've got the judgment card which is reunion it's reconciliation it's um forgiveness if that's needed but it's also about second chances uh, i love it it feels like that, that's what you're holding on reserve because there's this sense of grief here a sense of loss something not coming toward you that you have put on offer to this person a very special sacred connection and you haven't been sure page of swords that they felt the same way and then what i see coming towards you is yeah i feel the same way it might not be as evolved for them as it is for you but it's a start three of pentacles is a really good place to start it's where we're building the foundation and they're coming in with king of pentacles energy um, it's something that I feel with the magician underneath is part of the, the intention setting, the manifestation process. It's something that you're manifesting, but you you're have to sort of start at square one. Um, first, get the feelings, get the shared feelings, get the cooperation, get the offer from the heart, and then build from there. Um, really lovely. Okay. 
So if this is speaking to you, what I'm going to do in the extended is now this is the overview. I want to dive deep into the connection. What's working for you in this connection? What's working against you? And what are the opportunities that could mitigate what's working against you? What does this person want you to know? What would they like to say to you? What are they picking up from you at 5D? What's the vibe they're getting off of you, even if you don't realize it? And then I'll complete this Celtic cross with the last few cards and I'll clarify all of it, of course. And so that's what we're gonna do. The links to that are below. You see option one, option two, option three. If you want the one and done, just one extended, it is option number two. So please make sure you are aware of what it is you're grabbing um, for the extendeds. And before I give you the astrology here, um, if you've been enjoying my readings, my style, you know, if it's helpful, if you feel seen, validated, heard, and you haven't yet already, please do subscribe below. And um, yeah, that's how you help keep me here on YouTube, which is important to me. And so I'd like to stay around and that is my ask. Thank you very much. Here we go, Page of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Queen of Cups, comes out twice. That is Cancerian energy. Very sensitive, very nurturing, very loving, very compassionate. Fourth house themes. Um, let's see, we have uh, King of Swords is Aquarian energy. Page of Swords is out twice. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Swords is here. That's Libra. I love that we have the Empress, which is Venus, uh, Taurus, and Libra. Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. The Fool is here, which is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Judgment is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. Pisces in the Knight of Cups. Taurus here for our King of Pentacles. And Mercury, <laughs> which rules Virgo and Gemini. That's what I have for you. Very lovely, Capricorn. I'm headed to the extended. I'll be there in a second. Bye for now.